Welcome back to the third section in the method parameters section of this. Essentially what we're going to be doing in this video now is creating a button that will display the server time on the client side. So we already got the functionality to get the server date time. We have the method right here and it returns the data. And we already have the server side set up but we just need to create that button. So we need to go to the index page and we could create an input type equals button value equals click me <laughs> ID equals click me and finally we'll give it a bootstrap class of button and button danger so that's just how we can style the page and then we go back to the browser do a refresh Cool, we got the button, but it does literally nothing. So we need to program that button. And we're just going to use a jQuery selector. Um, it's very simple. All we have to do is, um, we can do it up here actually. We just, kind of like how we did this selector down here, we selected the element with that ID. We can do the same thing up here. So we're going to select the element with the ID of click me. And then and then we need to add a listener for an event. So what we do is we use the on method and then the first parameter it takes is the event in quotes. So we could say on click. And then the second thing is a function of what happens when that event happens. So when there is a click, what do we want to happen? And what we're going to do is we're going to append the date time to the page. So essentially we can copy this here or cut it since we're not going to need that there anymore. Cut that, paste that there. Let's give it a try. Great, so you can see every single time I click it, it gives me a new time. So you can see it's working. Now we can actually test to see what happens when the server is shut down. or if there's no internet connection to connect to the server. So the way you do this, you need to shut down IIS Express. IIS Express is the way we run our web applications using Visual Studio. So if you look down in the corner of your browser, there's this little icon, right click it, and um, just click exit. It'll shut down IIS, and now there's no longer a connection to the server. Now let's click and see what happens. There we go, that's the error. That's all for this section of the video. Now you guys know how to use return types in your server side and your client side code. That'll come in real handy, so thanks guys for watching. And I'll be sure to see you guys in the next video where we'll be starting something new. Woo!